Greetings and salutations. This is Ace Attorney Phoenix Wright. First game in the trilogy. I am the Raven and we're leaving together. It's, but still, it's farewell. And maybe we'll come back to Earth. Who can tell? I guess there is no one to blame. We're leaving ground, leaving ground. Will things ever be the same again? It's the final countdown. The final countdown. Okay, yeah, it's a 30 seconds. 30 seconds away. wait. Lantern! Captain Havelka pilots one of the last fully known, <laughs> known fully operational GLH-1D Galahads in existence. Nerd. Everyone out there is like, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> it's Battletech. It's Battletech. It has to be. Have you have you looked at the games I uh I talked about, by the way? Because I'm pretty sure some of them, if you don't have them, are at an I... interesting price at the moment. Oh, the uh, Square games. I have taken a look. Yeah. Hmm. Stop. I am not a door, or am I? Oh my god. <laughs> Nobody's gonna get that. Say <laughs> what? Uh... You a jar. <laughs> uh... Yo, go. Now it's time to rise up, or it's time to stand down, and the answer is easy to see. And I swear by the sword, if you're in, get on board. Are you ready? I'm ready. We're ready. Ready as I'll ever be. Yeah, well, that's brilliant. Eh? <laughs> Okay, this one is a... That was awesome. I've never Ooh. watched that series, but I should someday. I keep forgetting to get Disney Plus. <laughs> I have watched like the entire first season, and I stopped somewhere in the beginning of second. Here's the thing: Crystal Wall never interested me. Uh, December twenty eighth, nine fifty one a.m. District Court. Lobby number two, or whatever. This is it! Terminator 2! <laughs> <sighs> I can't decide if I was expecting that or not. <laughs> Eric Connor. Today, things are going to get settled at last. Possibly with big, stompy robots. So, this is turning to. Base Quest 3, isn't it? Yes. Yes, it is. We're going to decide the verdicts for Miles Edgeworth by a big, stumpy, punchy robot. <laughs> yes, we are. What is this Delta room? What the? Phoenix is indulging in his inner orc here. Whoa! <laughs> Never changes. <laughs> What's the deal with airline food? Sorry, Nick. I only touched your shoulder. Ah, uh, she's still kind of st starting to tell you how much. That's to tell you how much on edge you are. Dude, it's it, it's your husband who's on trial. Remember? <laughs> <laughs> oh, only my husband gets to touch my shoulder. <laughs> yes, I guess it's a shock hasn't worn off for my run-in with the sun gun yesterday. Oh, today's the last day of the trial. Good luck, Nick. I guess you can say um, my. Maya's all charged up. <laughs> Stop it. I don't want to remember this. Ah! You're going to stab me. With a charged finger. 
Thanks, Maya. Let's mean Maya fun. is Pikachu. If Maya is Pikachu, what sort of Pokemon is Edgeworth Senpai? Hmm. Lumbering. Hmm. <laughs> I hope Von Karma doesn't push him too hard. Von Karma doesn't get to be a Pokemon, because he's a jerk. I'll push him all the way. He's Paul. Whoa! <laughs> what are you doing? Sorry, I I'm sorry. Uh, I just thought I'd cheer you up with a pat on the back. But Why don't you go um... cheer Von Karma up? Maya? Maybe you should go outside and order us some goddamn Burger King. Right, good idea. I wouldn't be of any use to you anyway. She's don't to... go any. Don't go near any water. She's going to find that personal case make, making the orders in, in court. <laughs> Electrocute everyone on your way out. Especially Von Karma. With any luck, he has a pacemaker. <laughs> I mean, there's something else that would cause a reaction, I would assume. That's coming. Pow. <clears throat> oh, I think that one liked it. Oh. Oh, that was me! I got zapped so hard, I got turned into Randy Savage! What's gotten into that girl? Duck Detective Gumshoe! Morning, Edgeworth Senpai! Uh, good good morning. Speaking of senpai, oh god. Um, so we had a they had a teacher, a uh, young teacher who uh, was trying to get uh, into watching more anime. So asked a couple of us which was better between uh, two streaming websites being Crunchyroll and uh, Adian, which are French anime streaming services, and uh. He's asking for recommendations, and uh, we're giving him a few. And then, I think it was a slice of life high school anime, and um, I'm like, oh yeah, uh, she's just, you know, this character, she's annoying with her senpai. Deadass, the guy asks me, what's a senpai? I look at my weep friend next to me, and I'm like, you explain. <laughs> <laughs> You, you should get Sean Connery to explain it, because that's the best explanation and surely doesn't induce nausea in J.K. Lantern. <laughs> well, on something more happy, have you ever heard... Uh, I always mix up the two. I think it's Henry Cavill explaining uh, Warhammer. Oh my, oh my, I need to see this now. Yeah, which one? Which one played Superman? That's Henry Cavill, right? Yep. Yes, yeah, so that's him. Court is now in session for the trial of Miles Edgeworth. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Hmm. The prosecution is ready. All right. Very well. We have reached the final day of our proceedings in this trial. I ask that the prosecution submit decisive evidence. Understood. Come on, don't be- don't be odd. Like, every little thing he does is magic. <laughs> Very well. Mr. Von Karma, your opening statement. I'm not adorable and you will not caught everything I say. Oh, right. Right. <clears throat> Thanks to Detective Gumsu's efforts, the boat rental shop caretaker has been arrested. 
In yesterday's trial, the defence asserted that the caretaker was the murderer. However, the caretaker has yet to confirm this. I would like to ask the defence to cross-examine him as much as necessary. Um. Very well. Well, he's been very agreeable. A bit too agreeable, knowing what he did last time. Please bring the witness into the courtroom. <laughs> oh god, I do him as well. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the court. I believe you remember all our witness, I mean witness. He lays in the boat and went to stop on the lake where he witnessed the incident. In addition, he has coldly lost his memory of his name and identity and is currently asleep, understand? Witness! Why did you run away yesterday? The witness was not running away, as now he will testify. I see. Very well, please begin your testimony. <laughs> uh, I'm really sorry about leaving yesterday like I did. I left the kettle on. But I wasn't running away or nothing. Right. I went to buy some food for Polly, you see. And I think my voice actor has forgotten what his voice is again. I think I've got nothing to do with this incident anyway. I mean, I need one of those motor things, right? And I don't got one. So, my testimony yesterday I sta stands as it is. So, has been coached. Very well. Let's begin the cross examination, shall we? He has to know his name. It's because an eye, Joe. Yes, Jerry Bob. Cotton, you're Cotton Eye Joe, and I'm gonna prove it. I was going to get married if it wasn't for you. <laughs> Press on the fourth and fifth statements. One, two, three, four. You've lost much of your memory, is that correct? Uh, yeah, it seems like it. I've looked down, down the fucking sofa, it's not there. That's some guy's character sheet. Then how could you know that you didn't have anything to do with this incident? Uh, who lost his character sheet? Uh, Sirino? De Carbo? Good god, these stats are terrible. He's doing gymnastics. Or... Or maybe you're lying about not having your memory. Hmm? You know exactly who you are. The witness has testified clearly that he has no memory of who he is. He's not you know, he has memory of the incident. He has... He has the memory of a robot that's had his memory units removed to prevent him from spreading news, ab news about a trap, so shut it. God, that character was the worst. If you claim he's lying, then so the court proof. Oh god, that, yeah, you... that smile. It's not better if I'm seeing from the side either. Yeah. I prefer for the side than for the front. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> How am I supposed to prove what's going on in that old codger's head unless I break it open and sift through his brains? So you want to say to crack open his head and feast all this gooey goodness inside? Yes! Is that so wrong? You read the victim's memoirs. <laughs> That's impossible. 
I see a lot of people I want to do that to just to figure out how do you function. Hey, sir. <laughs> mm. I'm glad you come to your senses, Mr. Wright. Very well, witness. Please continue how I put you, I mean, your testimony. That's... Yep, that's the fifth one, so press on that one. How can you say you had no motive? I say you do! But you don't have the proof because you gave it! You had a grudge against Edgeworth and the victim Robert Hammond, which I have Again. proof of in these ashes right here. <laughs> Phoenix, I, mean, I don't think. Idiot. Did he. Was it said that he burnt it? I don't think so. It wasn't, but I like to think that he did. It went to Von I mean, that would be fair. <clears throat> That's why you took revenge on them, right? Please don't make me repeat myself, Mr. Rice. You won't like it when I repeat myself. This witness has no memory of anything beyond several years ago. Give it up. You would not be a good witness. You can't hold a grudge. It's impossible. Just like you winning your cases somehow. It's not be possible. I have to prove he's lying about his memory. Otherwise, it's going to be the same old song. I say something, Mr. Wrong. You're the guy in the dress, man. Yes, Your Honor? It's a curriculum, or it's a robe. It's a robe, not a dress. You, but you've been saying the same old thing over and over and over and over and up. Oh. We get it, Judge. <laughs> Sorry, you got caught up in the moment there. You've been calling the witness's memory of the past or lack thereof into question. But as a fellow amnesiac half the time, does this really have anything to do with the current case? Of course, Your Honor. The witness has said he has nothing to do with this case and no motive. Both of these statements are lies! Slander? Slander and lies! Order! Order! My sweet little lies. Mr. Wrong, there is a serious problem with this claim. When isn't there, man? Or are you saying... Are you saying you know who this witness is? Of course, Your Honor. Oh, now this is interesting. I would like to know myself. So just who is this deadbeat? You fucking stupid stinky liar. Don't play dumb, Von Karma. That's my job. You don't play dumb. You are dumb. I mean, it's not because it's right that you should- that you have the right to say it. Please, Danny? please tell us this witness's name. His name is Yogi Bear, a former court bailiff. Yogi Bear? That name seems familiar. Oh, wait a minute. I remembered something. From the DL6 incident! Fifteen... Years ago... <laughs> it figures the judge would have heard of it. It was such a famous case, fifteen, 15 years, years ago. ago. Fifteen years ago... Fifteen ago. years ago, ago, ago... But what does this mean? Your Honor, if this man is Yogi Bear, 
then he has a clear motive. He wants a picnic basket. Tsk, tsk, tsk. Jumping to conclusions yet again, Mr. Knight. How I'm becoming. This man, this witness, is Yogi the Bear. Isn't that fascinating? Hello there. How do you propose to prove this to the court? This is a court of law, as you may recall. You need proof, like dental records and fingerprints and all now. How about a parrot? <laughs> and allow me to repeat once more that the witness has indeed lost his memory. I'm not sure of it. Wait, what? This is it. I have to do this now. If I can't prove he's Yogi right here, right now, then I've got nowhere else to go, and all of the picnic baskets are doomed. How did you get back in the in the courtroom? How are you going to prove it? How can you prove that he's Yanni Yogi? I mean, we know, but where's your proof? You're not going to see your, you're not going to, I don't know, have the parrot say anything or whatever. Your Honor? Please take this man's fingerprints. God damn it, don't okay. be sensible. Not right. Then we'll compare them to the fingerprints on fire file for Yogi the Bear 15 years ago. 15, 15 years ago. Years ago. <laughs> Get me a sandwich. They have club Batman. I see. <laughs> that makes sense. And somebody beat me to saying it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you yeah, think that's going to work? I fouled off his finger. Is it? Wait, what? Do you say what? that? I'm so very, very sorry, Mr. Wright. Where? The witness has no fingerprints. Wait, what? Age for it. Where? Where? <laughs> Where? Are we playing duck game? Maybe. <laughs> mm. As you see, before words as a caretaker works on a chemical plant. I burn my fingers working with the stuff I help. Well then, I see gives a decent reason for it. Yogi the bear, you sneaky raccoon. And he's got to get around the sh the park ranger somehow. You burned your fingerprints off to hide your past and to hide from the ranger. <laughs> well, if the witness has no fingerprints, I guess we will not be able to prove his identity. God damn it. Yes, yes, yes. Well, what will you do now, Mr. Wright? I have a cunning plan. Are you going to go lie down in the corner and have a cry? That, that's just my every Friday. <laughs> hmm? Is this the case as we decided? No. No! I know what happened. I know ev I know nothing, Jon Snow. I just can't prove it. But no, I can't let it end like this. I can't lose. There has to be another way. 
There's no way. There's no one who can testify as to who this witness is. No one! There is no man who can testify. I didn't even consider that he might have erased his fingerprints. What do I do? Where do I go? Well, Mr. Wright. Would you, would you like to cross-examine his parrot for some comic relief? Since I have you in a corner. Very fun. You're a sore wind. Loading. Loading. Wait. Sore winner. Sore winner I... from Karma. I, I have a cunning plan. I have a cunning plan. Screw you, Von Karma. I am going to do a thing that's really clever. See? The wheels are turning. I am going to cross-examine his parrot. Hello, Polly. Yoko. Yeah. What is it, Nick? What? Yeah. No! I mean, I said that as a joke, you're not seriously going to interrogate the parrot! Your you, Honor! You've lost your mind, Nick! The, the defense would like to take Mr. Von Karma up on his proposal. You're gonna do what now? He offered! <clears throat> on my proposal. Excuse me a minute, I need to need to process this. Exactly, Your Honor. I would like to cross-examine the witness's <laughs> pet parrot. Oh, oh no, no, you're perfectly justified in that outburst. I, I can't hold that one against you. <laughs> uh, well, uh... Are you sure you wouldn't rather go cry in a corner? This is a farce. I object. It was a joke. Objection. Don't you object me? Wait more. a second. You were the one who suggested I cross-examine the parrot von Karma, and this is a court of law, not a court of jokes. And yes, you want to cross-examine the pirates. I have a right to do as you suggested. You... But if you're so desperate, then please, be my guest. Make a fast out of this court. Of course, should you go through with this, and nothing comes of it, then I'll have you ready for the consequences. Nick! I mean, I know you're stupid, but this is beyond insane! Beyond insane like a fox? Well, still wanna go through Sorry, with what? your little game? Do it! Do it! Do it, do it, You've do it, do it. do it anyway. Let the parrot take the stand. Oh look, the parrot took the stand. There it goes. <laughs> Sentences you will, you will only hear in a lawyer video game <laughs> and not in a... Actually, no way. Did I, did I ever send you those videos? Ah, oh, I'd need to take some time to find it. But I saw someone who basically... Uh, took actual things that were said in court rooms uh, using the the uh, objection website that allows you basically <laughs> to read a scene but with your own prompt. Uh... Bailiff, bring in the parrot. This is the first and last, hopefully, time I ever have to say those words. 